Today, I have decided to play Legends Arceus again, and I know what you're thinking, John, you've played this game so many times. Just stop, just stop playing it. I modded the game and made it very, very difficult. In this mod of Legends Arceus, every single Pokemon on the map is an alpha Pokemon, which is gonna make catching them difficult and also existing on the map very difficult. I would also like to note, the game is randomized, and also, you die in two hits. So this is gonna be really fun. So I changed the values of every single Pokemon in the game, so they all act exactly as alphas do. And I'm gonna save my video game, and now we're going to all look away as I hack my video game. <laughs> Chat, look away! Don't look! Oh my god! Round two. Let's try this again. All right, let's let's catch some Pokemon, guys. <laughs> they are. <laughs> okay, so you don't get mad, so that's good. I would like to know, chat, these are going to be the only easy alphas that we can catch in the entire game. All right, chat, so it is now time to, uh, to pick our starter, and it really doesn't matter. You just basically pick off of preference because it's going to be randomized so it's it's whatever you choose is probably realistically not the thing you're going to get the based choice of course is cyndaquil um what do, what do we actually get let's see what our pokemon is <laughs> a rock that's it <sighs> it's fine no it's fine it, maybe it's an alpha though Okay, cool. Here is our alpha starter. It's 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 something. Oh, oh, they are wait. So these are alphas. They're not random. No, because if if you um, You have to catch these three Pokemon or else the game won't progress. So this is the only part that we have to Have it not be randomized, but you'll watch the starly become absolutely enormous are the hidden unknown randomized I guess we'll find out when the time comes. <laughs> All right. So now it should be randomized, and as you can see, <laughs> this with this giant monkey, every Pokemon is going to be an alpha. Is there another sneak preview? Okay, well, there's a Snorlax and a Bronzor. Here are a couple things that I've, I have noted. One thing I have noted and one thing I haven't noted. In this mod, you die in two hits. If you've played the game long enough, you're probably thinking, John, that's not a big deal, whatever. If you're spotted, let's just say I get spotted by this. I'll use this as a demo, right? Angry alpha? and the alpha hits me. Ready? I'm now about to die. No matter how much dodging I do, if that red eye is at the top of the screen, I will never gain back health. And when every single Pokemon on the map is an alpha, that tends to be a little bit of an issue that I never get my health back. So, as you can imagine, this might be a little bit of a tough challenge. But I'm a man of, of, of uh, uh, daringness. Also... Okay, admittedly, I didn't know the move could attack that far, so... So, I've already- I've already died once in this. Okay. This is, uh, this is a little bit more difficult than I anticipated it was going to be. Um, oh, I can catch that. Oh, wait! Wurmple! Okay, Wurmple is an easy catch. We can get Wurmple for sure. Oh, yeah, also, I- I kinda didn't think about that. We could just throw berries. All right, all right. <laughs> 45 minutes and we have our first Pokemon. Just, it's a, it's a Wurmple. I got, I got one Wurmple. Another huge benefit is eventually we're gonna get Wing Balls and Wing Balls are really, really nice because we don't have to like be really close. We don't have to be really close. Also, Stealth Spray is gonna be huge too, I can imagine. Okay, so we got Turtwig, not bad. We're getting, we're getting there. Also, one thing to note, because obviously I could beat this game really fast if I just did all the research tasks for these Pokemon. I guess it wouldn't be fast, but it would be faster than probably catching as a bunch of Pokemon, right? But if we're avoiding encountering alpha Pokemon in an alpha only Pokemon challenge, why are we doing it? Can you feed a Palkia? The answer is yes, you can feed a Palkia. Okay, no, 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 don't bother the whores. <sighs> okay. Okay, well, we gotta go this way. Oh my god, the what, what, what? 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait. wait uh, how are we even going to catch that? How do you even catch an Avalog of that size? Where is the hitbox? There's way too much going on. It barely fits on the screen. <laughs> I, I can't even go up to it because I'm getting attacked by a Tornadus, Arceus, and a Palkia. Oh my god. Okay, that's a crazy hitbox. I don't even think it sees me. I, I just, I, oh, it's, okay, all right, we gotta go, we gotta go. <laughs> There's another one. Okay, Scorpy, cool. Every alpha comes with something. So we're gonna get experience candies or some affiliate thing. Oh my God. All right, it's getting a little bit better. Let's just go and check and see how many points I'm away. That's pretty good. That is surprisingly more than I thought it was going to be. So hey, I'll take that. All right, so we just need to get another 130 points and then we can, uh, we can make it a little bit further. Okay, Rowlet, sick. All right, we got a starter. We got another starter. Oh, Ghastly. Conveniently at night, we can catch a Ghastly. And once I catch this Ghastly, I think, I think we have enough. Oh, wow. Okay, great. Um, let's go check with the professor. <laughs> no! That's messed up. That is not nice. Great. All right. So now we got to, to star rank one and we can actually make it further in the game. <laughs> Perfect. New rank, everybody. We've done it. Okay, so now we can use heavy balls, which is going to make this, I, I would like to think, like a little bit easier. All right, what's uh, what's here? <laughs> That's a big boy. Okay. All right, let's take on a, a big old Zorark. <laughs> okay, I guess we're fighting it on own instead. Never mind, never mind. Yeah, I have a Shinx. You're kidding. The events are randomized too. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, I don't have this. Okay. All right, let's uh, let's test new ball. All right, okay. This might make this a lot easier now. There's a noble Lilligan here. What are the odds of catching this? That's not cool. I really wanted that. I can evolve Starly. That's actually a really big deal. I know this is kind of sad, but I didn't even think that like, you know, we could just evolve Pokemon and it would probably make the challenge a lot easier. So, <laughs> so let's do that. All right, so we've caught enough Pokemon. I, th I think that we are, are fine to go and do this and take on the Noble. Like my team is, It's a team. We as the Johnson community could go take over the state of Wyoming if we're still looking for video stream ideas. Chad, you wanna know a crazy fact? So I looked up in New Hampshire, cause New Hampshire is known for not having a lot of people, right? There is a place in New Hampshire. It, it's not even a town. It, it like it, it is, but it shouldn't be. Take a guess how many people are in this one town chat. I guarantee you, you won't get it. Okay, you did, you did get it, but like, that's not the point. It's a town of eight people. <laughs> <laughs> and I looked on the map, it is one section of a road and there are two houses. Actually, there were three houses, but one of the houses was like spooky and ominous. It was like insidious type beat. I forget the name of the, of the place, but it's like Northern New Hampshire. If you look up lowest populated states in New Hampshire, one is like eight. It was called Sugma. Okay. Millsfield? Okay. Yeah, it's Millsfield. It's only eight hot MILFs that were in my area, but then I moved. This is it. But since this is all just hiking locations, right? Right here is the road. That's it. It looks like a normal house. They got like, like a, a relatively new car, you know, beautiful mountain range. They've got an, a Shrek outhouse. Kind of sick, right? No. Okay, chat. This is the other house. I like had to look. Tell me that's not absolutely horrifying. You have to take a hike to get home. I think you can you can change the date, can you not? Yeah, check it in October of 2008. Didn't change at all. <laughs> it's scarier. All right, cleaver time. That was so bad. I'm not even gonna, I'm scared to fight it, so. Also, I die in two hits, and I don't get healed either. Dude, the Electrode fight's gonna be impossible! No shot at win the Electrode fight. All right, 
That was pretty easy. The alpha sounds bother you? Uh, no, but chat got annoyed with the... I can catch this. I, uh... I don't know how to get out of it. What? 10 points. <laughs> There we go, we did it. All right, let's go talk to Silene. All right, two stars in the books. So in total, we need to get five in order to beat the game, which sounds like a lot, which it is. But like I said, the, the further we get, the higher level Pokemon we can catch. Cause like, think about when we get into the coastlands, any first stage Pokemon that we, that we encounter and catch, will probably instantly evolve, which is 60 points. Okay, so we are in the Crimson Mylands now. Okay, yeah, so I have uh, 1,700 points that I have to get, which is like, I don't think it's really gonna be as bad. Okay, so now we can buy Heavy Balls for 120, which means that we can really start to stock up on them. 100 for 12K is like a crime. Come on. Okay, great. And I can instantly evolve that. So that's like part of what I was saying is that it's gonna get really easy the further you get into the game because you can just catch Pokemon and evolve it if you catch it at its lowest level. So now realizing if I set all of my Pokemon's levels to 50, like the wild Pokemon, because you said it would, it would like make the game harder, honestly, it would make the game so much easier to beat because if I just caught this at level 50, I could insta evolve it. All right, what are we looking at now? There's some evolutions. I can check those Pokemon and see if they evolve. Wow, look at that. Easy. All right, we're done with this section. I mean, we're not done with the section, but we are done with the section. So I just had to go back because um, I already did the misfortune event. So I returned the wall fragment and then we had to go get Arizu and then we go and take on Lilligan. Then we're done. Let's go find out if, if the unknowns are randomized. Un, un, what's the plural of unknown? Unknowns? <laughs> Monkey! That's what we like to see, baby. We love the monkey content in this building. Oh, it is an unknown. Well, I mean, these are free, free points, you know? <gasps> oh my God, that's sick. Hold on chat. We may have found a big exploit. What is A? Are they all Sneasler? Probably not, right? Duskull. Oh my God, this is so busted. What do we get? I think we beat the game. Not too bad, chat. Not too bad. No, chat, we're not done with the game. I was joking. <laughs> we had to beat the storyline. All right, chat. We need a banger. Oh! I keep forgetting I die in two hits. I can't believe I just lost to the easiest battle in the entire game. Let's go! Oh, I died. You know what I had yesterday, which I'd never had before? Um, the Tres Leches cake. That's the real deal. Dog cheesecake. Cheesecake is probably my favorite dessert. Like if I, I don't ever want a birthday cake for my birthday. I want a cheesecake or a carrot cake. Carrot cake goes stupid dumb hard. Let me tell you though, what I don't like like I, when it comes to cheesecake, it's either regular cheesecake or strawberry cheesecake. It is not any other thing. Like chocolate cheesecake, I don't like at all. I think it's gross. But I've definitely had raspberry cheesecake squirrel. You know when you go to like the bakery at your, at your grocery store and they have that, the plastic tubs and when you try and open them at 3 a.m. and you wake up your parents because it's like and you get to reseal it when you're done. I There was one time when I lived at my parents' house, there was a cheesecake, or not a cheesecake, but it was like like some some type of cake that was from the store and I wanted a slice of it, but it was straight up, I got out of work and my parents were asleep, it was probably like 2 a.m. I, I straight up went outside to open it. <laughs> Cause their bedroom was right next to the kitchen. So they would have immediately heard it. So I, I went out the front door, sat on the porch and opened it just so I could get myself a slice. Hi, how are you, John? I'm great, because I'm going to the Cobalt Coastlands. Okay, so the thing that we have to do is is get a Dusclops. I have Duskull, like I mentioned earlier. So I had to grind that to 38. All right, so now that I have that done, uh, we can basically do the entire island. I can get Basket Legion. Um, get to catching. I'm happy with how fast that was. I think that was the smartest play. It's just that if you want, if we want to get levels, 
What will this thing do? Wait, it's a bascule. I didn't even think about it. I'm making basculation. <laughs> My brain did not connect the gears. I'm making Basque Legion food with a Basque Legion. Oh my god. That's the first encounter I get. Oh my god. I might die. Oh. Oh my god. That technically was a shiny Arceus. You saw it here first, chat. That was a real... Shiny Arceus, <laughs> half Shiny Arceus, <laughs> live and in concert for you guys. My, are you ready, gamer? God, I wish that was in the lore. Oh my God, I wish they just called me that in general. Do you guys know what they call me in the streets? Call me No Damage Danny. Oh my God. Oh my God, no. No shot at Lucy, right? Let's go! We've done it. I, I'm beating these at the exact time the song ends. That's impressive. That's actually two minutes and 45 seconds. Right now, we uh, if we look at our decks, we need 2,000 points to rank up, but I've caught 74 Pokemon, which is is pretty good. So I think really to give you a breakdown of what we're going to do, because I found out this is probably, this is like kind of the cheat code for getting through this without doing research tasks, because research tasks makes this like stupid easy and would have finished this challenge in like six hours. So like that's, you know, point is what we're going to do is we're going to fight in in the first area we're gonna go here and we're just gonna fight any pokemon that gives me a large or in a or a medium or a large experience candy and then we can just evolve the pokemon that we've caught maybe catch some other ones along the way but realistically we should be able to get through this pretty uh, pretty quickly today do you drop candy yep large candy there you go see all right so we can't go to the highlands now until we get more points but like I said, I think that we're fine. Because one thing to consider is every new entry that we evolve into, we get 60 points. So realistically, I need to evolve 20 Pokemon? Which isn't really that bad. Got up to the 20th done. Oh! <gasps> Where? Oh! <gasps> Wait! An actual... <laughs> it's an actual shiny! There is no shot we're catching this! You got it! Yeah, it's becoming morning. Come on. Oh, I did it! Wow, I actually, I'm shocked that I got that. That's crazy. Aesthetically with the lens flare. My God, look at this Titan. Yes, I love it. We're gonna get the recipe for sticky globs, um, which does drain our bank, but on the upside, it's now gonna be really easy to get Pokemon, I think. I think 55 is enough. Uh, wait. It's not Pop Pods? It's, I'm thinking of Scatterbangs. Oh, I'm so stupid. 160 points for no work whatsoever. So now we can go to the Cornet Highlands and actually do some content and lore. Chat, do you think I'd survive if I had a bean-only diet? I just ate refried beans. <laughs> all day every day think of the video i survived an entire month eating refried beans here are the results you want to know what's crazy because i think when you think of like insane diet challenges you think of super size me you know how much money that guy made like how much money that movie made it's crazy can i just say though the concept of it is really stupid the concept is makes perfect sense it should be acknowledged that fast food is unhealthy and that in America, we kind of like don't really acknowledge that and we just eat it and don't care about what's inside of it. But his his game plan was so stupid. It's like, hey guys, I'm going to eat McDonald's breakfast, lunch and dinner for an entire month and not get any exercise whatsoever and see what happens. Guys, I'm overweight and I have heart problems, what? Come on. Uh, I was only eating 6,000 calories a day. And then fun fact, there was a there was like a teacher who saw that documentary and said the exact same thing. Like, well, yeah, that's like really stupid. So what they did is that they ate McDonald's every day, except they did cardio and they went to the gym and lifted weights and they ended up being in better shape. Great, I can now climb with Sneasler. So I didn't check the, the thing, but I believe it's 2,500 to finish this section. Which once again is like, it's really not that bad. Oh my. Oh, come on! 
There's, I have to fight a Rufflet, dude? How in the world am I gonna beat Rufflet? All right, it's now time to do something really tough because we had to fight the Noble Electrode. And the issue with this one is that this is easily the hardest battle in the game. I'm gonna say it. I think it is because you can't dodge. You can't like get rid of the 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 orbs that chase you. So you just have to wait for them to go away. And that gives you no windows to attack and I die in two hits. Nine hours and 33 minutes in, how long will it take me to do this? I forgot to randomize it, it's a petalil. Oh my God, why is it so <laughs> why, <laughs> why is the it's broken? Oh my God, it's the most, this is the hardest noble fight. This is, <laughs> Why did that not happen last time? Okay, so how many do I need to beat this? 2,500, okay. So this is basically the end of the challenge, right? So we just need to get to 2,500 points um, across the 100 Pokemon that I've caught so far, by the way. And I just need to basically, I just need to evolve really 20 Pokemon and we're done. You wanna know a fun fact, chat? I think I've ever told you this. I can't say which one it is, but I have a, a niece who's named after a Pokemon. She's not named after the Pokemon. It's just coincidentally her name is a Pokemon's name. No, it's it's not like an abbreviation or like a like a change of words. It is literally verbatim the Pokemon's name. Actually, yeah, they don't even live in New Hampshire. So yeah, that, that would be like kind of hard for you guys to find out. <laughs> but I'll let you guess. It's a rock type Pokemon. <laughs> Archon. <laughs> Sounds just, what a gritty name. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, it's Amora. Yeah, the first time I, my 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 mom told me that, she's like, she's like, yeah, you have a new niece. Her name's Amora. I'm like, what? Couldn't have kids, so they just revived one. <laughs> I just started digging for fossils. This will be our child. That's that's honestly the best play. It's just grinding out candies in the lower sections and then catching Pokemon in the higher areas, so we can just evolve them. I guess we'll just check in. Yeah, so I caught nine Pokemon. Uh, two of them weren't new. So four, around like 450, which will leave me like with a hundred and we'll say 160 left. Wait! We're done! I didn't know. Oh, okay. I, I mathed that one like a, a dummy. All right, sick. Why are your eyes? Okay, that's not important. Wait, so it's eyes? It's eyes aren't the things? It's not the lights? It's the two dots on, there's, I don't, I don't like that. I don't want to believe that. It's eyes are not at the top of its head. It's the lights. We're in the Iceland, everyone. Do you think we'll reach Pokedex number a thousand with gen nine? Uh, probably not. We have 905 right now. They're babies. They're scared. They don't want to do a thousand, which is like, what a sick thing for them to say. They're over a thousand Pokemon. Yeah, I wonder if the, if the thousandth Pokemon is meant to be like something big, but like how, how I feel like they are kind of out of ideas. Like you've already created the God of Pokemon. It's kind of crazy to conceptualize like how Pokemon is like too big to fail. And then when we're all 60, we're going to be like in gen 20, nine okay maybe not that far but like at least gen 20 there will be 20 gens of pokemon like life's short but you have a solid chance at another 40 pokemon games <laughs> not that that's the thing that you live for but like that is a I, like any game that you like that comes out yearly you get to experience another like 40 of them it's great we're gaming we're about to take on avalug this is also a really tough battle when you only have two hits I think I have to restart the game. Okay, all taken care of. We're in business, baby. When you put it in perspective though, 13 hours for this challenge, that's not bad. It really isn't. Makes me wonder how fast I can I can speed run the game just on its own. I'm waiting for John to announce he's having a kid so we can bully him into naming it Monkey. Uh, chat, there's a lot of steps for me to have a child and I have not reached any of those steps. Well, 
Well, not, I didn't mean it like that. Like I've done it, but like, just kick me out. All right, so we got far enough into the game now where you guys get to decide what side we're on. Um, we can be the Pearl Clan or we can be the Diamond Clan. Yeah, I think we're big diamond stands here. Your emotions. Can you just press A through this and you just, you get it regardless? I'm just gonna try that. Cause I feel like almost all the answers aren't wrong answers. <laughs> <laughs> you can that's so stupid. Why did they make it like that? Yeah, just press A the whole time. Don't even think about it. Don't even read what I'm saying, guys. All right, have luck. Have fun. Go make the chain or something. Oh, it's Alpha. That's so funny. Spaghetti? More like I'm ready. For... Up oh, the eyes are behind me. Perfect. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's exactly what we were looking for. Wait, Chad, is this the red chain? Oh my god, it's the red chain. All right, time to fight man. We've defeated the man, by the way. Lean. <laughs> Wait, it's Dialga. Oh my god, it's the- Because <laughs> it's alpha, it's too big for the cutscene. <laughs> it's too- <laughs> oh no! What will we do? <laughs> there it is. Alpha Dialga. Wait, guy hey, hey guys, let's chill out for a second. Yeah guys, I'll catch it now. Don't worry. <laughs> See, here's the thing though, that's what Dialga should be. It should be that big. So big, you can't even see its head. You have to pan the camera out. <gasps> oh my God! What? What did I do? Okay, so here's the thing. I don't have a randomizer code on, so this is like the game. I don't have any, I don't have anything on. So if I go to my codes, I have, I have it turned off. So the spawning in, in a random way is turned off. And the only thing that's on is the alpha code. Which means this is part of the game. The game bugged and it gave me this Dialga. What do you mean? What do you mean we're softlocked, Chad? We just got it! Let's go! That's so sick, dude. <laughs> Alpha Primal Dialga? Now what shows up? Let's see. What does the lore speak of for this? Please be enormous. Please. <laughs> it's just <laughs> It's in the ground. <laughs> it's so big. It's so big it went through the floor, dude. Oh my god. Where is it? <laughs> That was exactly what I wanted it to be. I'm really happy that that happened. Let's take a look at it. Oh my God. <laughs> it's so big. Nice. All right. Well, with that, I mean, <laughs> let's go take it on. All right. <laughs> Where's the big Palkia? Let me see. <laughs> at least it's here this time. <laughs> See, this is actually realistic, right? I doubt we can even see it. Just a giant horse. Big Dialga, okay. The size it should be, like to note. It did revert, we're gonna ignore that. <laughs> oh my god! It's, <laughs> it's so big! Oh my god! Alright! The final battle! Here we go! It's Palkia, guys. Thanks for stopping by for the end of the game, guys. I really appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoy the, the challenge, because you're at the end, guys. Oh, it's okay, it works, it works, it works. That's so crazy. That's so crazy. Ah! Oh my god, run! Come on, come on, come on, come on. 
I got it. I got it. Let's go! We did it! Stop the timer. <sighs> wow. All right. That's it. 14 hours and 33 minutes. I want to see if this is an alpha, though. They've successfully beat the game without... With with only f how do I not know that I've I made the game idea? Guys, do you know where I can find my Palkia that I got at the end of the game? Do you know where I could? I really wish I could script this stuff. I really do. We've got <laughs> for some reason our origin deal, <laughs> and we've got our origin. Oh my, why is it so big? Why is Origin Dialga so tiny next to this absolute titan? My god. And on top of that, <laughs> hey, we got a shiny. Yay, wow. That's the whole team. That's Those are the big catches. But uh, I think that's going to do it for this challenge. So until, until next time, chat, we will we'll take on a brand new adventure that is probably just as insane and weird as this one.